I have an extremely important analysis about gold, silver, platinum and miners. If you are interested in any of them then today's video is going to be the most important video of your trading future or of your trading history. You do not want to miss a piece of it. If you are a regular viewer you are already well aware of it from my analysis of uh, gold and silver where we are looking at it I have to some um, um, other material to add on to it so there is some changes in today's analysis uh, we are going to look at gold and silver first of all um, we'll only discuss in today's video we'll only discuss gold silver platinum GDX and all of these three miners as well so let's start first have a look now about uh, a week ago I gave an analysis that you're expecting uh, a top in uh, on 19th of September that's still on for gold that's still on for silver and that's still on for platinum so we are still expected to see a, pla a high what did that mean and, and let's have a look on a different chart on a 15 minute chart but before we can actually do that let's actually zoom out a bit and uh, we'll and then after that we'll zoom in so first of all a high is expected on 19th of September a major major low is expected on 17th October and after that is complete we are to see a major not a major a very good uh, strong reversal that would actually complete probably around February of 2023 we're looking for a v-shape recovery one uh, I'm clearly bearish hopefully you got from it so I'm clearly bearish on uh, gold and silver and platinum once we have seen the price str strongly drop we are expected to see a v-shape recovery not a cup kind of pattern where it's going to take a lot of time no we are seriously interested in kind of a flash crash on a, a weekly time frame and then we are expecting a recovery on a weekly time frame so very very strong volatility volatility is or a high volatility is expected in all three minerals and the miners as well so let's have a look one by one and uh, let's have a look. Let's zoom in to see what expected uh, on a larger time frame, okay? Let me go and do the monthly time frame. A lot of you guys are going to look at the chart. This is a little too much. I understand that. But uh, in order to uh, build the case, we do need to understand the longer time frame uh, and a chart available for us on gold. Here's the rough labeling that I've done. Uh, you're going to ask for a proof. I do not have any proof. We do not. We simply look at a pattern and we say that, okay, this is probably expected. So for now, we are considering this whole as a wave one, this whole big pull as wave, wave two, this whole stronger move as wave three, and wave four either completed right over here or it's going to complete over here, over here, or over here. If it completes over here, we are going to say that, okay, we are going to see a truncated flat correction. Uh, if it completes over here, it's a regular flat correction and uh, we might see a deeper end correction in flat. So right now, we, I'm considering that this correction actually started from over here and over here, wave A, this is wave B and wave C. The point here is we can, okay, we can easily say that, okay, wave 4 ended right over here. First of all, have a look at the time frame. The time frame is a major, major difference. I uh, was mentioning it as wave 1 and 2 and 3, and I'm like, okay, maybe 4 and 5, but I have come up with some uh, more uh, studies, and we're going to look at it, uh, the analysis section, which tells me that there is a probability of even a deeper correction. In my previous video, which was posted about a week ago, we were expecting for prices of gold to be somewhere around 14.55. I gave another target on top of it, which is 13.61. Now there's a good potential. Uh, there is a strong possibility that we can actually see a new low being formed in a very small period of time. So this is very, very important. The low that I'm talking about on a, on a daily time frame, that low could actually be a new low. All right, and this is this is telling you how drastic, uh, how drastically the price is going to move, how sudden the price move can be. As far as the price target is con concerned, I'm going to come clear. I do not have any methodology uh, which I can use to confirm, 
but there's a good strong possibility that this is uh, the whole pattern that actually started from over here and ending right over here so and then we'll talk about why I'm talking about uh, that their gold could crash so much let me and stay with me as that's what stay with me for the whole video I, I do understand that you have important things to attend to but if you are interested in gold and silver uh, I would do my best not to say anything um, to strengthen the video apart from what is necessary to be said so I'm considering this as an A, a B and a C for a reason and I'm expecting that we could actually see a new low and I will discuss the reason when we discuss uh, silver and platinum all right when we look ahead and when we look at silver and platinum I'll discuss the reason let's have a look on a smaller time frame and on a daily time frame uh, zoom in a little uh, adjust the thing uh, the chart a bit so we can actually see okay so th the low that I'm talking about is expected on uh, 7th October on or around maybe plus or one uh, plus one or two days is approximation is a good approximation and uh, maybe in some future time I will probably um, give away why high, how I found uh, a bottom of it uh, there's a high possibility of this date to be met once again I do not have any uh, crystal ball but there is a good probability I've done some um, s deep studies of the chart and other data as well and I've come up with this low so this date is important it's not coming out of and just a, a, a random uh, guess or something there are 365 60 days in in a year and to pick a bottom uh, in 365 days is just kind of a very rare very very one one in 365 chances anyway so let's have a look once we can see that um, we clearly have the pattern from the top and you can clearly see from the top pattern that all we are seeing is we have seen a top being formed then we seen a lower high and a lower low and a lower low and a lower high as compared to that one and from that low we have seen even lower low and from that high we have seen an even lower high and from this lower low right now we are seeing a lower low being formed and we are now within this kind of structure which is small uh, so it's a very I'm not getting into the labeling of Elliott wave analysis right now on a smaller time frame the reason is because if you try to do that and there is a high high possibility that you will miss the major trend and you can clearly see from the uh, from the chart itself that it's actually indicating towards the downside and I have shown you the larger pattern that I'm expecting on a weekly time frame that I'm, I'm expecting that right now prob there are the higher probability that we are going uh, through wave C of a larger flat correction and we can see uh, from other things that we are going to look in silver and platinum that a sharper sharper pro uh, price action is uh, highly probable we already have the date so let's have a look on our hourly time frame and talk about the more recent uh, high that we are expecting okay this is the high that we are expecting um, where exactly the price is going to be for that probably we need to go on a, even a 15 minute chart before we do that uh, this is the labeling that I had previously and I deleted it you can easily call it a uh, five wave structure starting from the top we have the start of the structure right from over here wave one and two and wave three and wave four and wave five we were expecting somewhere around 70 72 ish it went a little deeper right over here and completed the five wave structure and then I on also gave an indication and this bottom was told I told that I was to close my position I closed my position somewhere around over here and then I reversed my position uh, for Friday as well so I had a good day on Friday as well personally and I'm pretty sure some of you guys had too um, because I clearly indicated on my analysis that I was bullish on on gold and silver on and platinum for that day so let's have a look from this chart and we can clearly see that within the five wave structure uh, the fifth wave is also clearly subdivisible so you can look at as probably wave one and two or you can say wave one over here and wave two and this whole is wave three right over here which is uh, extended wave four and wave five uh, let's do that clearly so that we can actually uh, move forward strongly so this is smaller wave one and two and wave three is extended this is wave four and this wave, wave five uh, let's have a quickly look and uh, change the um, degree of the wave 
Pardon me. And we can change the color so it, it's, it's a little more, you know, clear. If I can, I can select the number. There it is. Now it's a little more clear. Okay. So here is the, and the reason I have labeled this the small wave is to see the way the collection is ended. All right. The probable we have two places. First of all, uh, the immediate resistance is coming right over here. All right. So immediate wave one of two, uh, with when uh, of the thir expanded third wave, we have smaller wave one and two right over here. So the immediate resistance is coming. If we can actually cross that. The next resistance is right over here. This is for Monday. And let's have a look on a 15 minute chart and I'll give you the pattern that I'm looking at right now. So nothing, uh, no rocket science. We have clearly an A, a B and a C. And this pattern clearly is telling that it's not complete yet. All right. So I'm expecting that this pattern would actually complete. will give us a kind of um, an X. So this is a sim single zigzag W and the zigzags. Um, I mean a flat correction X and another zigzag on the upside which is W X Y so we are expecting a double zigzag correction um, there is a possibility uh, that we might see although I have given 19th September as a day of high being formed so imagine that let's say that uh, 18 hours or uh, 16 hours of the trading they have passed and the price has moved up $20 and uh, let's say or thirty dollars or maybe forty dollars whatever the resistance point it is has completed the structure and in the remaining hours uh, because of the high volume and the weakness that we have seen in in gold gold drops probably like sixty dollars or eighty dollars in few hours in that case that bullish day would turn easily to bearish day so we need to understand that a structure is expected to be s completed somewhere in the middle of uh, the trading day it can take the whole trading day and but I'm expecting that it is expected to complete somewhere around in the middle to two third of the of the trading day as well so what we need to understand is that we have very important resistance point first of all the place where the structure compl st uh, started from so if the prices break from over here you can clearly believe that we have created a top on the trading day and then you can go bearish the other thing is once this structure is complete and we go upward in that case it's a very healthy idea to use the higher area as a this area probably and I'll come to back to this and you can use this area uh, the break of this area after prices go up after prices go up you can use the break of this area as a potential break of support and then you can go be bearish so the, the whole reason I'm saying that because there is high possibility of a top being formed somewhere in the during the 19th of September so very very important the whole reason I'm giving this support line is because we can clearly see that there's a lot of support coming in area from the previous structure and we can see that our own recent structure actually found resistance right over here pulled back and then crossed over here so from traditional technical analysis it is expected that this structure when it's complete is a potential to come back and sit on top of it before it can go up so this is w and an x can e easily come and sit on top of it before it can go up it does not have to but there's a high possibility of doing that so first support immediate support shall not be taken in that case we can use this support as long as prices are staying in this once the prices move away from over here we can definitely bring it uh, right over here and we can use this support I hope I'm clear with this one and this uh, is, is, is going to probably create uh, some sort of guidance uh, for trading of gold on that day. Once we have seen a top being formed, is that top being any different from other tops that we have seen? No. Absolutely not. It's not different from any other tops that we are seeing. Uh, let's have a look on um, hourly time frame. And what does that I mean? What I clearly mean is that we have seen uh, clearly a top being formed correction top being formed correction top and correction another top and correction and that degree is complete and then a higher degree wave and within that wave we can clearly see that there is deeper corrections as well so once a top being formed prices will not move simply in a vertical line 
we are expecting regular uh, corrections in it we are expecting 53553 five, five, structure till actually the date of the bottom which is uh, um, what 17th of October okay so it's important because it's going to be most recent one because we have seen quite a bit of drop right from over here so in that regard it's going to be important that's why I said that oh okay high is expected on 19th of September and uh, I've already given the price target that we're looking for prob probably creating a new low um, once again I'm not clear with the target of price uh, for gold there I have two three or actually more than three four resistance points and then I'm expecting there is a high probability of n new low um, being formed in that case a flash crash is expected uh, let's say the price goes back to 900 uh, from seventeen hundred dollars to nine hundred dollars within like uh, twenty trading days or within one month is is going to be really amazing and a lot of people are going to get caught probably on the wrong side of the market or they will be out of the market and they will miss the market. Uh, so you know, use your trading uh, strategies. You can push analysis up to an extent. You cannot push it further uh, where you can actually make trading decisions. You can actually use it to create a bias. Either your bias is bullish or bearish. And then you have to use your trading methodologies uh, to, to get the juice as much as you can. Let's have a look at silver. Okay, silver is very important on a um, weekly time frame. As you guys can see that silver is kind of uh, the correction that actually started from over here is kind of giving an indication there is a possibility that we are creating some sort of a, a flat correction. You can uh, you don't have to agree with me. In that case, we can clearly look at a five wave structure and we have an A, a B, and a C. I was expecting a similar thing, and that did not happen in gold. In fact, the pattern that we have seen in we have seen in gold is different. Pardon me. Let's have a look on a weekly time frame to um, give you indication why I am expecting um, a new low being created in in gold. So one major reason: look at the price of the uh, gold and the bottom that was created as compared to the top. Okay, uh, we had a, a top of fifty dollars an ounce. We went back to somewhere around tenish dollar or right now twelve dollar let's make an approximation ten dollar that's an eighty percent drop in the price of silver eighty percent drop in the price of silver and we're still not far away from it right over here and when the price comes right over here there's not much room from the top right over here uh, twenty out of fifty is um, we are still sixty percent down from the top okay at the moment we are still sixty percent drop of the moment uh, from the top in that case we have do not have a lot of room to go further down silver is kind of already trading in the lower range of uh, the price target of a longer run we are expecting silver to create a double bottom with this one and um, you know it's not it's, it's quite a bit um, I'm not saying it's not quite a bit but compare that to gold okay the top was created at 1920 this top was 1920 for a rough estimate let's make it two thousand dollars just a rough estimate and we can see the price is still kind of sitting right very close to it all right and this top that this bottom that was created around 50 percent around 50 percent of it so you can see right now that we are hardly a 15 percent or 20 percent uh, 10 percent would be 200 dollar and 300 dollar would be 15 percent so we are at 85 percent from the top we are only 15 percent down from the top and we have only 15 percent from down down from the top and silver is sitting 60 percent down from the top giving us an indication that a lot of people bought on uh, in last year especially uh, retail traders 
who had uh, not much that research not only retail traders big investors as well right uh, I do not want to name of them you can simply do a quick research uh, on, on Google and you'll come up huge huge buying uh, not only from Russia China uh, large US investors as well and uh, they were expecting that gold is going to be they were right only the timing was wrong and that is why the one major reason is giving me an indication that we are far far away uh, from the bottom this is clear uh, a basic arbitrage uh, technique that's being used that although the trend is in the same direction but some of the articles are way far from the the potential bottom and that's why a sudden move in the price happens all right let me take bring give you guys an example look at what happened to NEM all right so this is uh, the side wave structure and this is Newmont Corporation we have created a new low uh, a new high even though gold was still and gold and silver was, silver was struggling in this region we created a new high so since gold and silver started going down people realized that how far it is away from the bottom being created in that regard just look at it it's almost like a straight vertical line like look at it you were trading at 86 dollars at the top and within a year's time uh, like hardly the last six months of whatever uh, we have this was how much was the top right over here the time this was April so in last five months we have seen 50% of funds vanished and in another month um, we'll discuss the target for it so that's why I'm expecting that you know we got to look at these things and we got to bring that um, analysis in into our analysis as well the sudden price movement when uh, can happen uh, most probably especially when the prices have not moved closer to the the target where the other uh, the rest of the um, contributors of the market are actually close to bottom and platinum as well platinum has is has created a major high right over here in this regard and we can see it was at 2300 the second high this one around the same time when gold and silver started falling was nineteen hundred dollars and as compared to gold being two thousand and platinum being two thousand platinum is trading at nine hundred dollar while gold is trading at seventeen hundred dollars you guys get the get the comparison right now this is the same time moment right over here forget about the this is just a stupid uh, thing I was doing do not look at the pattern it, it was not meant to be seen and it's just something I was uh, kind of um, experimenting anyway gold and silver created the top right over here um, gold was created this somewhere around the same in terms of price the same top and right now platinum is trading at nine hundred dollars and gold on other hand is actually sitting at the top trading at seventeen hundred dollars so it gives you an indication that since the major trend itself is low we are to see very very dramatic move in gold all right and I've done some uh, and some of my research this research has taken quite a bit of time I'm not simply just seeing it by looking at the chart right now this uh, is just a presentation and that is the reason when I said, said that there is a high possibility in gold that I mean we'll see a new low within probably um, a month or so this is one of the probably most important trade uh, or you know something that we have caught something I personally have caught maybe you are you have caught something similar but um, within a month period month of time in such a sharp move if that happens um, you know this will be my first time for such a large move we've already talked about gold on a uh, that giant time frame let's have a look on silver on a smaller time frame okay so we have seen silver being um, you know kind of moving in such a way we can clearly label it as wave one and two and three and four and there's a possibility that we are going to see probably uh, a double top being formed we can actually push a little further all right there's no uh, nothing wrong with that one so let's have a look at 15 minute chart and uh, we see if we can actually find a pattern So 
so in which we can see that this is probably wave 1 and wave 2 right over here or over here either case a stronger move as wave 3 we have seen a new top in the correction and I'm expecting that this will complete wave 4 or this is wave 3 completion and this is wave 4 right over here and then we'll see a new high over right over here so we can definitely use uh, this support for silver once prices go up right over here a break of this on 19th uh, of September this Monday uh, a break of this after prices go up will actually confirm that we have seen a top being formed in that case after that um, you are looking for a major bottom to be formed in silver within a month of time and there is a high possibility that we are going to see silver forming um, somewhere around twelve dollars creating a double bottom so very very important time in, in uh, silver in gold and platinum as well let's have a look at platinum and see how platinum is doing uh, platinum is showing the strength um, as compared to silver uh, I mean as compared to gold so silver and platinum are showing some strength and then a lot of people are saying oh look at the strength yeah because they have already dropped a bunch from the top of nine nineteen hundred in platinum and from the top of fifty dollar in in silver they are already trading at the low end range so they need to move a little up from the bottom so they can actually give some more room to fall simple is that nothing is not the strength they've already shown the weakness already it's time of gold that's actually showing strength able to indicate weakness the pattern is more clear in platinum uh, if you don't see a knee high don't worry about it if you don't see a new high don't worry about it on Monday you can clearly see this structure being formed once the price is dropped below 882 we are to see price going down potential price target in platinum is creating a double top uh, I mean a double bottom with the lowest price I think that was five hundred and fifty dollar an ounce this one right over here this is five hundred seventy five dollars we are expecting a bottom to be formed somewhere around five twenty five twenty five uh, in platinum so once again it's amazing if you're gonna see probably fifty percent drop from the prices right over here but in terms of larger scale uh, compared to 1900 we are already kind of close to 50 percent uh, we are coming down and it will create a 25 percent support as compared to this top and if, if you consider this as a top which is 2300 dollar uh, then you can definitely consider that we are probably uh, kind of 80 percent down uh, at this price so a lot of it says we are very close to the historic price levels in platinum gold and silver but my choice in trading short is going to be gold I'm not going to uh, probably I'll try my hand later on 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 silver uh, but uh, probably uh, more on on gold on on side initially starting from gold I will be more bearish on gold GDX um, a lot of uh, no I do not if you guys have some more data on GDX I do not have anything more on that on, on GDX all right so we look at GDX on a daily time frame this was the analysis that was given on GDX um, I'm expecting that uh, we shall be I think this is a good potential target that we have already mentioned uh, which is around ten dollars right uh, let's make it round off ten dollars so right now GDX is trading at 25 I'm expecting GDX at ten dollars when we see a bottom in gold and silver and platinum let's have a look on our hourly time frame and once again once the, wherever the bottom is complete whenever the bottom is complete we are to see kind of uh, very very sharp reversal in in platinum as well uh, I mean in GDX as well uh, this is gold and silver miners ETF is written right over here in case one some of you guys are interested in actually uh, investing in the G ETF itself hourly time frame um, you want to see the, the chart in a proper form and if you look look at the GDX it's more closer uh, the weakness is more closer to the gold itself because gold itself is a very um, you know big part of these miners so there is a potential that we are see gonna see somewhere price over here coming 
in this case you can definitely label smaller wave 1 and 2 and another smaller wave 1 and 2 right over here and after that we have seen this one a top being formed right over here because we have seen this as a proper an important support so there's a probably possibility of this jumping up a bit and then we can do a bearish on GDX you already have the target of GDX at $10 um, on a smaller time frame not on a smaller time frame I mean on a, on a daily time frame or on a weekly time frame nothing to add on GDX let's have a look at Newmont Corporation uh, Newmont Corporation once again m after Monday uh, once you can guys can see a new high can be uh, possibility right over here so don't worry about if that happens we are bearish on a uh, on new month especially after Monday uh, let's have a look on a uh, daily time frame the potential bottom is right over here at fifteen dollars uh, new month is trading at forty three dollars these price targets are an estimation uh, please understand that so you can see a lower end of this double bottom is uh, where the target is coming from so it's not a random target I'm expecting this to be a complete structure right over here alright and hence I'm asking that there is a possibility that in gold as well what you're looking at it is a is a clear flat correction that's why some of these miners are clearly showing more very clear uh, Elliott wave analysis patterns as compared to the uh, silver gold itself Matella is going to be weak I told you guys that once um, we see a bottom somewhere around uh, two dollars right now this is trading at 378 once we see a bottom at two dollars even the jump up is going to take it uh, to around right over here so we are not going to straight away go and go up over here so I'm expecting that jump up would actually take prices somewhere around eightish dollar, which is around like uh, four hundred percent time as compared to the bottom, and it'll be three hundred percent in terms of profit. Wheat and precious metal. If you look at the previous target, uh, previous structures that are being formed, right over here. So pretty interesting in in looking at these structures once they are complete we can uh, have a discussion of what kind of uh, pattern was it um, Elliott wave analysis is very very useful if we can actually understand it right if we can actually combine with cycle analysis and other tools as well so I'm a big fan of all these studies I'm a big fan of Elliott wave analysis WD GAN analysis banner cycles and uh, there was another box theory I forgot the name of the gentleman box theory as well so I hope that I was able to um, provide some help and guidance uh, this is uh, free content on YouTube it does not mean if it's free it's uh, you know it's, it's you're gonna fly find the actual value of it when you actually trade it so let's see how it goes I wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye